How many points until we actually get a one up or continue? Scrap brain. We're near the end. Fuck. Bollocks. If only I saved. <laughs> I didn't think that... Well, I guess this is actually the last song. So, actually, fair enough with including them. Fuck. But yeah, this is definitely the zone where rings become very much disposable. Okay, can you, like... Eat me. Thank you. But yeah, I do really like this age actually. Just really nice aesthetics. Really nice music actually. But not really something you'd listen to outside of the game, but it has a really nice atmosphere to it in terms of where you are in terms of the game. Yeah, yeah. Mega Man 2, this bitch up. Um, fuck. Okay, so yeah, if I failed that, then I would have had to go on. That, that, and that. No, I'm not falling down there. I'm surprised I'm staying on the upper path, actually. Oh, right, that's... Shit. I go white then. Fucking hell. There we go. Gameplay. And now the only way is up. So yeah, that wasn't quite the highest path, but not really too fast, honestly. Like, I'm more so focused on getting through the game. Da -da -da -da. And then from an outside area into an indoors bit. I think this is like the first Sonic game to really... Wow, if it happens in the first game, then of course it'd be the first game to do the thing. You fucking mongoloid. But... <laughs> At least there's rings here. I doubt we're gonna get special stages, but how the fuck am I not getting hit? There we go. Also, I just remembered I forgot to save state before starting this. Yeah, I forgot to save state. <laughs> can tell I was having a lot more fun here than with Labyrinth. Like, you know, I could at least enjoy Marble Zone, but like... Labyrinth, nah, a little bit too much, mate. Fuck. Nah, I wouldn't try for the upper path. There we go. 
Also, say specific enemies, my ass. There's bloody catechillers here. Okay, Mega Man platforms. Where are you going, mates? Fucking Mega Man. Man, this is like a huge concoction of all the machines from the other stages. And I love the semi blind jumps. Fuck. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm not even commenting. You know what? That background is actually really nice, though. That's some actually really satisfying platforming now. Uh, yeah, this is hard, but you know, it's end game. There we go, just jump over everything. Just run through, that is a lot faster. And of course, I failed that, but whatever. <sighs> but yeah, this background. I just really like the red and cityscape aesthetics. Alright, yeah, let's... I thought this would be like a different pathway, like, oh, you did bad, but no. The game really does want you to make these jumps, which, to be fair, it is the penultimate challenge, so... It's actually quite surprising how lenient this is, though. Like, you know, there's platform below you to catch you, you're still giving rings from these platforms, so... If you do cock it up... Yeah, especially noting the fact that, you know, you... Fuck, I forgot about that. Fuck! There we go. Nice. Nice bit double cycles. Yeah, this is why I was surprised at how lenient the level actually was. Also, yeah, they're putting rings on those fucking beginner trap much. Fucking hell. And yeah, now we're in the middle path because I just entirely jumped over the bit. How slow is that, actually? Like, legit, that was so slow. Like, I jumped well late on that and it still didn't appear. Yeah, I'm kind of losing the energy to commentate, I'm not gonna lie. Like, what can I really say that isn't just happening on the screen? Nice bit of timing jump there, fucking... Bollocks. Nice. I'm getting better at this platforming now. But I think it's more through like memorization than actual skill. Yeah, like... But yeah, now I'm rushing. I'm just going to be bad again. That was lucky as shit. That was bad as shit. That was dreadful. What the fuck? No, no, I'm sorry. That's not it being slow. That's it missing its own cycle. You can't tell me that it shouldn't have appeared there. 
Yeah. Look at that timing. There's something actually wrong going on. What the fuck? I fucking phased through that, I swear. I should really slow down for that bit, though. Like, that isn't even the game's fault. That's my fault for rushing. Like, I might as well go down a different path, but the thing is, like... I found the fastest path. Why take any others? Maybe because I suck at it. That would probably be a good reason. Now, let's wait for these cycles to... Wait, yeah, I need a bit of momentum too. Right, there's that one. Two, three. One, two, three. Shit. So yeah, that is one reason why momentum-based platforming doesn't work when you don't have an easy method to gain speed. And we're going to stay on the upper path this time. Because I have got my head in the game. It's going to be fucking high school musical in this bitch. Yes, that is how physics works, game. Definitely. Oh, and we've managed to make it to this area again somehow. Like, I might as well just fall down because I'm good at those conveyor jumps, but the thing is, I don't know where the fuck they are. Two, three, okay. There we go, and now it this section killed the pig and it released a bird that makes sense these ones actually want to throw their balls about fair enough yeah I don't even care there we go we made it let's save state fucking hell now, to be fair, that was actually a fairly good stage. Well, there was waiting. Quite a bit of waiting sections. It was more down to your execution, whether or not you had to follow them. And this, just super quickly. Fucking bollocks. Two, three. I didn't even press jump there. So yeah, nice. Nice fear stage gimmick here. Definitely not obnoxious. Like, it's not so much that it's terrible. It's that... The physics don't really work properly, like, what the fuck is that jump? Genuinely. Also, why are those switches always fucking kind? Yeah, like, I wasn't expecting the moon jump physics, so I didn't get it there. But when you jump straight up, yeah, you do. And then, yeah, just the cat killer body is coming for us. Okay, but yeah, let's... Two, three, run. Bollocks, let's get out of there. Whatever, just... Get ring, get ring, that's basically all this section is. And it is honestly a lot less difficult than the platforming before because it's just damage boost and you immediately get rings afterwards. 
Well, you know, why should I actually care about getting hit if there's so many of these rings? Like, sure, there's the special stages, but at this point of the game, if you were going for the emeralds, you'd have gone them by now. So it's pretty much a non-punishment. Also, that is so fucking spammy, my god. You know what? I want that shield. Even though I'm not really using it that much, it's like... Come on. It's a fucking no-brainer. You bollock. Okay, let's actually go a bit slower now. Since I know there's a wrecking ball. And I didn't take my own advice. Nice. I knew there was a wrecking ball there. I even said there was. Yet. Yeah. I decided to be fucking pillock. Yeah, I do much prefer the platforming challenges in this to... Just the damage challenges. Because, yeah, literally. I'm just damage boosting through everything without consequence. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> Oh, I made it to the upper path, nice. Yeah, that's how physics works, game. Whatever, let's get the ring. Now that there's less rings in this section, I do actually have to be a bit more careful. And there goes my rings, nice. To... Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's be a bit more careful about that. I do have to shield as a safety net, but of course... I don't really want to lose it either. Okay, just... Yeah, speed. And now that we're on the higher path, we should be able to just get through this bit quicker. One, two... They could really fucked us up, to be fair. I know, it's not so much that the obstacles here are pointless, it's that they're inconsistent. Like, in theory, this is, like, a really difficult stage, but... I died before I got the rings. I, this is literally where the safe state is anyway, so there's literally no point in making a new one. <laughs> like, I guess I got more score, but, like... It's not like I gotta continue out of it. I'm actually going to go for that upper path now that I've... Fuck it. Oh god. Yeah, it would definitely be faster to avoid getting hit, but... It's also just more mental effort. Which, you know... At this point, I've been recording and talking for like two hours straight, so I don't really have that energy anymore. Well, no, it's not so much that I wouldn't have the energy because it's long. Because I can definitely do long sessions. It's more so just the fact that this is fucking boring at this point. Like, you know, I'm not really having much fun now. I did enjoy... Scrap Brain 1. Because, obviously, it was like... Also, I like that psychedelic face in the background. Fuck. Oh, yeah, they actually swap out the entire... Oh, like, yeah, that was the tangent I was gonna go on, like, you know. 
how this was the first Sonic game to... Well, that Sonic 3 wasn't the thing that invented changing the stage aesthetics midway through zone. It's just a lot more pronounced within Sonic 3. Because, you know, Sonic 3 is like the best the classic games have ever gotten. Yes, including Mania, fight me. Fuck. Okay, give me the fucking rings. But like, the rings in this game just go through everything. It's actually annoying. Yeah, sure, let's just do a fucking clip. <laughs> that's... That's how we play the game, right? By breaking it. Uh, I, I did not even try to do that. Right, I went the wrong way. Also, wait. This is the upper path. Oh. Very, very naughty. But I don't really care at this point. Okay, get the ring, because I know I'm probably... Yeah, now damage. Uh, fucking pain. That was actually so clean with the fire though. I have no idea how I managed that. Like literally, it was just like through the door, right above the fire. Like, bruh. Okay, I thought I held down jump for a lot shorter. God, momentum jump jumps are just bollocks. Good thing I'm not streaming this, my god, I... I would be such a crappy live streamer. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not even mad, that's just Sonic trolling us a lot. Like seriously, what other game series could get away with pulling shit like that? I just want plenty of rings so when they spray everywhere I have a better chance of picking one up. And that's why it's on the harder path. Now but where are all the checkpoints in this level though? Like genuinely, there's zero fucking checkpoints here. Yeah, I'm not even commentating at this point. I just want to get this shit done. This is literally just to log my suffering. Also, the amount that I've been pressing my finger into the D-pad can actually feel it digging in a little bit. Fucking momentum jumps. Nice. Okay, I got its head. It didn't shoot any spikes. You're just being a bugger. There. Okay, this should be the fucking end now. Yes, we are freedom. So right, there are three labyrinth. No, there are three scrap brains, and then there's the final zones. No, right. It is just the two. Wow, cutscene. Cutscene in a in a Sonic game. Oh my god, is this game trying to have some epic lore? Is this edgy hot hedgehog trying to be edgy? Oh my goodness. How, how dare he? 
How dare. How dare this Japanese thing try to have an epic anime story to it. Oh my fucking god. Why don't we treat it like a western cartoon? This is clearly a western property. Yes, for sure. Get your ass in there, Sonic. And then, yeah, if you thought the... To be fair, the purple does look better than the green. And, you know, mixing the green into statues, yeah. Come on, you bollock. It's not even stress inducing at this point, it's just fucking annoying. But yeah, I just hate how out of all stage things to reuse for the finale, they pick the fucking worst one. Like... Like legit, Labyrinth Zone is just the fucking worst. And it's the one which has four. So sort of like Metropolis being the fucking... Alright, oh, we don't even get any rings in the next bit anyway. You know Just to save when we start, I'm saving when we have two rings. Well, two lives. We're nearing the end, boys. And that is one very visible scan line. I'm not even sure if it's like the game or that. Well, an aesthetic thing. Yeah, no, that's an aesthetic thing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just really tired. Okay, so yeah. Oh, there we go. I do really like this final fight because unlike Sonic 2's where it just goes overboard with the difficulty, this one is actually quite laid back. Like, it's not overly complex what you need to do. Like, it's fairly simple. Four things that you just jump in between. And then, yeah, the challenge, it's not the most complicated final boss in the world, but you have to do it in only one hit, so. With, well, without getting hit at all, rather, so. Yeah, it is actually a fairly well designed boss. And it's quite a nice send off for the game actually. Fucking momentum though. <laughs> if this was Sonic 2 physics I could just like... Okay. Like you saw that jump? Doing the spin jump against there would have been so helpful. That's just me having slow reactions. This boss is going to take ages at this rate. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that... Yeah, I'm not even mad that I didn't go for that attack. There we go. Boss is dead. And that's Sonic 1. Honestly, a very mediocre game. I did have fun with this game, don't get me wrong, and it is very interesting to play. 
But... Yeah, honestly, I've... I've had more fun playing Sonic Heroes than I had this game. Like... But yeah, this game, it isn't terrible. It does have some very good design behind it. It's, but it very much yeah. suffers from first game syndrome. Like, like Lost World, that was literally just first game syndrome. Sonic Unleashed, that very much pushed things so much that it just round up. Round up making the level day levels not fun to explore, and then of course the night ones. Yeah, that was just an entire miss altogether. Sonic Adventure, they of course did hit it out of the park, but then obviously there were some strange things like having to charge the light speed dash, and then Big the Cat. Yeah, just the other gameplay styles that did get refined within the sequel or dropped. Yeah, and with this game, yeah, there are a lot of design aspects that round up getting dropped, like the more platform heaviness got got overhauled for the spin dash. Oh yeah, that's the other path, it just sends you into another one of those things. Yeah, so it just sort of shows you how you can sort of just yeet yourself right up there. And they missed. So see, I'm, I'm playing at just the same level as this guy. Definitely. Why did they... Yeah, why did they go from the final level to that? And then, of course, this dick bag wants you to collect all the emeralds, which we're not doing because there isn't actually a completion reward for it. And no, I also won't be doing it in Sonic 2 just because there isn't actually a super form. And I won't do it in South Sonic CD because, well, it's just aesthetic changes to the levels that you're playing through. And then, of course, Sonic 3, I actually will be doing that because of the saves save system and also the extra final boss that you receive from getting all the emeralds. I don't care about like aesthetic stuff, but I don't care about like different endings, I care about content. So like, you know, for example Sonic Adventure 2, I'm not gonna go for all A ranks, but I will play all the stages, barring the obvious fucking Green Hill Zone, because well, that requires all A ranks, and while it'd be something I'd like to do in live streams to unlock it, yeah, not not for the review. That'd take too long. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs>